from the magnificent pyramids of Egypt to the puzzling quandary of the Bermuda Triangle, our planet houses countless unsolved riddles that never cease to stir our curiosity. Included in these mysteries is an underwater enigma nestled near Japan's Yonaguni Island, a part of the Ryukyu Islands. Discovered by Kihachiro Arataki, a local diver in 1987, the Yonaguni Monument, with its approximate dimensions of 490 by 130 feet, is a substantial underwater formation that has the world holding its breath. Is it a relic of an ancient civilization, or could it be a marvel of natural formation? This underwater pyramid continues to mystify us. Among such mysteries, the Yonaguni Monument, discovered by Kihachiro Aratake, stands as a subject of intense debate among historians and archaeologists worldwide. In 1987, near Japan's Yonaguni Island, local diver Kihachiro Aratake, exploring the crystal-clear depths of the Pacific, serendipitously found an underwater wonder that would soon command global interest. This was the unveiling of the Yonaguni Monument, a pyramid-like edifice submerged in the ocean's depths. Nestled just off the southern coast of Yonaguni, the farthest of the Rukyu Islands, the monument narrates a tantalizing tale of an ancient civilization, speculated to have thrived around 10,000 years ago. Its underwater position proposes a time when the sea levels were considerably lower, or maybe a catastrophic geological event that submerged it. The discovery of the monument sparked a flurry of reactions, ranging from awe to disbelief. Initial theories swirled about its origins, whether it was a natural formation or a man-made marvel. The monument itself is a spectacle to behold. A maze of stone formations it seems to exhibit remains of castles, temples, a stadium and roads, all meticulously chiselled from a single rock mass. Its intricate design, along with the precision of its features, implies a level of architectural brilliance that questions our current of ancient civilizations. However, the Yonaguni monument is not without its cynics. A number of scientists argue that its unique elements could be the outcome of natural geological processes rather than the work of ancient men. This ongoing debate over its origins adds another dimension to the mystery that is the Yonaguni Monument. The underwater edifice, with its one-of-a-kind characteristics, has since drawn the world's fascination. The Yonaguni Monument is a far cry from your typical historical structure. If you can, a unique edifice that breaks the mold, a spectacle that stretches our understanding of architecture and human history, found near Japan's Yonaguni Island, this monument is such a marvel that has stoked curiosity and fostered countless debates among scientists, historians and inquisitive individuals. The monument is no less than a marvel, inspiring awe and admiration. It bears an uncanny resemblance to a pyramid, but not the type you'd stumble upon in Egypt. This one is nestled beneath the ocean's surface. The monument takes on a colossal form with intricate designs and detailed craftsmanship that have led to speculations that this is not a mere outcome of natural formation, but an architectural achievement of a civilization that thrived 10 millennia ago. The layout of the monument is complex, displaying signs of intelligent design. It appears as if skilled hands meticulously planned and executed the construction of this underwater marvel. The monument features what could be the remnants of castles, complete with grand halls and towering walls. We can see structures that mimic temples, presumably once places of worship, and places that could have been used as stadiums, hinting at a society that valued entertainment and public gatherings. The monument's design boasts an array of terraces and steps, reminiscent of ancient architecture, which are etched into its structure. These paths, some broad and others narrow, meander there around the monument, connecting the different structures. They indicate a well-organized layout, akin to the urban planning of our modern cities. There are various theories regarding the monument's construction. Some argue that it is part of the lost continent of Mu, a proposed landmass that reportedly vanished beneath the ocean's waves around 12,000 years ago. The Yonaguni Monument is not just an architectural wonder, but a window into a world that existed 10,000 years back. A world that had its own architectural masterpieces, societal norms, and a unique lifestyle. This underwater monument stands as a silent testimony to a long-gone civilization, now submerged deep below the oceans ready to unfold its secrets. This monument, 
a tribute to a bygone era, is an edifice that questions our knowledge of human history. The Yonaguni Monument, submerged near Japan's Yonaguni Island, is embroiled in a whirlwind of controversies. A great divide exists in the scientific community and among history enthusiasts, mainly debating whether this pyramid-like structure is a work of ancient human hands or the result of natural geological processes. At the forefront of the man-made theory is Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist who argues for the monument's anthropological origins. Kimura and his supporters highlight the monument's intricate features, the sharp, right-angled formations, flat, parallel faces, and what appears to be remnants of castles, temples, a stadium, and even roads all submerged under the sea. They believe these features indicate deliberate craftsmanship, made potentially 10,000 years ago, when sea levels were significantly lower. For these theorists, the Yonaguni Monument is a priceless artifact from a forgotten civilization. In contrast, a faction of skeptics refute the man-made theory, advocating instead for the natural formation theory. They assert that the monument is a naturally occurring rock formation, sculpted by millennia of ocean currents and seismic activity. This group points out the lack of definitive archaeological evidence, such as artifacts or inscriptions, to back the human contribution. They propose that the monument's complex features are the result of nature's own hand, carving and shaping the stone over thousands of years. Both sides present compelling arguments, leaving the Yonaguni monument wrapped in a shroud of mystery. Despite extensive research and underwater explorations, irrefutable proof to conclusively settle this debate remains elusive. The monument, whether a testament to human ingenuity or a marvel of natural phenomena, continues to captivate as one of the world's most intriguing enigmas. As we embark on a deeper journey into the sea, we encounter more enigmas than solutions. The Yonaguni Monument, a profound enigma, constantly challenges researchers and archaeologists worldwide. The ongoing explorations and research are much like slowly revealing the layers of an ancient seawater-soaked manuscript, each layer uncovering a new riddle, a new puzzle to decipher. The use of advanced technologies, such as sonar mapping and underwater robotics, has significantly contributed to these investigations, offering new angles and depth to the study. The monument, speculated by some to be the remnants of an ancient civilization, stands as an unfathomable testament to the secrets buried beneath the waves. Such archaeological enigmas reinforce the significance of our past, highlighting that history is a vast, interlinked web that we are only just beginning to comprehend. They serve as a humbling reminder of the magnificence of civilizations that once existed and the fleeting nature of our own existence. The Yonaguni Monument, noted for its complex structure and cryptic origins, is a silent guardian of the sea. It stands firm, its tails drowned in depth of time and ocean alike. The monument continues to protect its mysteries, patiently anticipating the day when its secrets will be fully unveiled. The enigma of the Yonaguni Monument offers us both a challenge and an opportunity to decipher its secrets and, in the process, gain new insights into our understanding of human history. The mystery of this silent sentinel of the sea advances our story as a species, compelling us to question, explore and ultimately expand our knowledge of the past. The Yonaguni Monument keeps its secrets, inviting us to decode its mystery and enrich our comprehension of human history.